Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be looking at 5 do's and 5 don'ts in the Power League right now. So hopefully this video will help you guys out uh, looking at the things that you're doing wrong and the things that you're doing right. And hopefully overall, we'll be uh, creating a better place for people in the Power League. So uh, before we jump into today's video, make sure you're using the credit code in the shop. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, to so start off the video with the don'ts, the first one, I feel like everyone can relate to this one it is so painful so please 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 do not play jesse and penny especially first pick as well it's ruining such a good opportunity to pick one of the best brawlers in the game and you're pretty much picking the worst brawler in the game especially jesse and penny it's a sign of like a noob player i don't think there's any map in power league where these brawlers are actually fairly decent i feel like the only one that's probably okay is probably hot zone you know jesse and penny can be okay on those mo on that mode uh, but other than that just absolutely terrible i won't even pick them at all never mind first pick it's the most frustrating thing ever in my opinion there's also a few other brothers that i can name and you guys could probably think of as well the likes of dynamite edgar mr p etc etc these troll picks especially if your first pick just please be considerable especially listen to your teammates especially the one that has uh, the ban uh, they're normally the best player in the room so if they're flashing a brawler try and pick that brawler okay so now moving on to tip number two for the don'ts in the power league is please do not give up early in the power league it's such a frustrating thing i've seen a lot of you guys uh, sharing that as well in my experience as well in the lower levels a lot of people just seem to give up so early Early. you know after a few deaths maybe they might start spamming the angry pin they might start shooting at you or a teammate and to be honest that's just not the way to go about it even if you think your teammates suck just carry on just keep trying at your absolute best because it's going to be even more frustrating especially for the person that's really trying trying to improve their rank but you've just got someone that's just giving up straight away you know if you get angry really easily honestly battle league just isn't for you because you're ruining the experience for a lot of other people as well especially if you're just giving up after two deaths like that's just crazy like the game isn't over straight away especially in a game like brawl stars it's really fast-paced action and you can literally turn around the game within a split second so please just keep trying until the end you know if you're really frustrated and can't play anymore just give up after the game's finished just turn off the game but when you're in mid game just at least try your absolute hardest even if you're so frustrated uh, just to create a f more fair experience for everyone else okay so next up as tip number three for the don'ts is do not go under leveled brawlers it's really frustrating uh, when someone can easily play like a power nine brawler or even a power seven brawler at least they have their gadget but they just tend to go for like a power five brawler power three brawler and to be honest those brawlers are useless even if they're one of the best brawlers in the game you know for example like a bell or a mega or something just being so underpowered especially when the enemy team has like power 11s power 10s it's just a no-go it's never gonna work let's be honest even if you're one of the best players in the game it's just so hard to play uh, without the star powers without the gears and without that power being high so please do not pick a low level bro. okay so next up at tip number four for the don'ts in the power league we have a mode specific one here so i feel like this one honestly a lot of people should know already but uh, it's very common in my opinion anyways even in the very high ranks a lot of people make the same mistakes so for me you've got to be really really careful when you have the lead in bounties so it's extremely important to not be super aggressive, especially when you've got the lead. In a game mode like Bounty, you can play extremely passive. Let the enemy come towards you, especially if you've got the lead. They're the ones that are having to fight for that lead back. And it's going to be a lot easier to kill them if they're pushing into you. Of course, don't get pushed all the way back into your spawn. You need to relieve some pressure sometimes. Uh, but for the most part, I still see people go really aggro on their own. You know, you're only up like, like, by like one star and it's near the end of the game. And they just go up for no reason and die. So be extremely cautious. Make sure you're always looking at the score. Trying to work out in your head really quickly if you can go up and die or not. That's normally the uh, kind of thoughts I'm going through, especially in Bounty. So if I know I've got enough stars to die, I can just go up, relieve some pressure. But do not uh, go up if you know you can't die. So finally, moving on to the last don't in the Power League is picking a brawler that gets countered by the enemy's drafts especially when you're last pick as well it can be extremely frustrating seeing your teammate just completely pick a brawler that gets countered by the enemy's drafts so there's a few examples here uh, one of them is really obvious like picking a dynamite for example when the enemy has like an egg or an amortis that is just a no-go but there's also ones where you're picking like tank brawlers and they get encountered by the likes of tara 
M's, for example. A lot of people make this mistake uh, where they just think, oh, I'm good at this brawler, I'm just going to pick it. Well, although you might be good at that brawler, you're going to give yourself a way less chance of winning. You're going to give yourself a way less chance of winning if you just straight up from the get-go give your, uh, the opponents the better draft uh, when you could easily just pick a counter pick and give your teammates a better chance of winning. All right, guys, so now moving on to the do's in the Power League. So the number one tip for me, uh, especially in this meta, is going to be banning Grom near enough all of the time in Power League. So it doesn't really matter uh, what level you might think that your enemies have. Even a low-level powered Grom is just going to dominate. He's just so broken right now. And especially if the enemy has that first pick, no matter what, I feel like every single map in the game Grom is probably the best brawler in, so make sure you're 100% banning Grom no matter what if the enemy has that first pick. Although there might be a few other good brawlers, Grom's just too disgusting to deal with. He's just so uh, good right now in this meta. And also a side tip as well, uh, you might not want to ban Grom uh, if you've got first pick. Uh, a lot of the times I like to flash my Grom, you know, signifying that I've got a high level Grom. Uh, but if that low level Grom, make sure straight away that you signify to your teammates that he's low level uh, so you can potentially ban him anyway. Okay, so now moving on to tip number two for the do's in Power League. Uh, it's kind of a generic one. It's one of the opposites to the don'ts, but still I feel like it needs to be uh, brought up because a lot of people still don't think of Power League like this. So in my opinion, you really need to be focusing on what the enemies pick, especially when you're one of the uh, last picks in Power League. You need to be trying to outpick and outcomp your opponents. So you want to try and analyze uh, what our brothers have gone and in your mind from obviously your kind of experience in Brawl Stars and Power League, but also as well, well, I'll be uploading a guide to try and help you with this anyways in the next few days in terms of what are the best picks, uh, but you always want to just try and outdraft your opponent. It's going to give yourself a much better chance to win. Sometimes the game is literally decided in the draft period, especially if you've got an insane combination. They've got a pretty trash one. Uh, literally that stage there in the first sector is going to win you the game. So it's really important to focus in that stage because uh, nine times out of ten i do think a good draft can win that game because the next up at tip number three we have it trying to synergize as much as possible with your teammates picks as well so not only do you have to think about the enemy's picks and trying to counter you really need to try and synergize with your teammates so even if they've picked a really trash brawler you know you have to try and adapt to that so if your teammate has picked a dynamite for whatever reason you need to try and pick a counter to that dynamite pick so the enemy is likely to go like an aggressive brawler to counter that dynamite you have then got to adapt to it and then try and pick a counter to that counter. So I'm talking a lot about counters, but you probably get what I mean, right? You need to try and adapt. Uh, even again, if you're in the worst circumstances ever, you need to give yourself the best chance. So don't get frustrated too quickly. Make sure you're always trying to pick the best brawler. Okay, so next up as tip number four for the do's in Power League, we have flashing a brawler to try and signify to your teammates uh, to pick that brawler. So in the first stage of the ban period, uh, if your teammate is taking forever to ban, you want to be flashing a brawler that they need to ban. So for the most part, it's going to be Grom, uh, but that's how you kind of communicate in the higher levels anyways. There's no really like other way to communicate in the drafting period. Unfortunately, there's not like a suggest button or even like a switch brawler stage uh, in, the, in the actual power league right now. Uh, but the only way is to flash. So some people kind of get confused with the communication. They like flash a brawler as if to say they're going to go it. Uh, but for the most part, you don't really want to be doing that, especially if someone's in front of you and they're ready to pick. You want to be flashing a brawler that they should pick. Uh, some people can get frustrated and think, oh, they've taken my brawler. But trust me, you want to be trying to signify to them uh, that they should be picking that brawler. So for the most part, if you're kind of stuck, uh, try and listen to the person that has the ban lead uh, so they have that crown above their head they're normally the highest uh, ranked player in the room uh, so obviously they're going to be a little bit more experienced for the most part so you won't be trying to listen to them but trust me and uh, make sure you're signifying to your teammates which brawler they should pick okay and finally moving on to the fifth and final tip for the do's in power league a bit of a generic one here but try and watch as much power league content as possible so whether that's my videos or whether that's a few other youtubers the likes of mcd's and bobby spring to mind when it comes to watching that high level power league content of course you want to watch uh, for the commentary and the tips that they give you but also just the gameplay as well you want to be seeing uh, the drafting period 
uh, seeing what uh, people actually ban, what they are picking in the first stages, what they're picking at the latter stages. It's just really good to familiarize yourself with these type of drafting uh, sections as well. You're going to improve a lot by just watching this type of gameplay. And also as well, in a few days, I will be uploading a full power league guide, which does help a lot of you guys out uh, that I'm aware of, uh, which will give you guys tips on every single map, uh, the best first picks, the best bans, and the best last picks as well on all of those maps. So hopefully I'll get that guide out to you guys but trust me watching the pros playing power league is going to help you out considerably all right guys it's going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this one let me know down in the comment section below whether you like this type of content and whether you want me to continue with these type of guide videos uh, because i really enjoy doing it i want to help you guys improve as much as possible uh, so trust me just put it down in the comment section below and i'll be trying to do as many of them as possible so yeah that's going to be it for today's video hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time